They were my best friends <laughs> growing up. The black kid. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to leave the hotel. I was scared too. Meanwhile, you think it smelled like straight horse booty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that was. Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And of course, Jeff. Guys, if you want to catch our episodes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we are on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, and Amazon Music. And if you want to catch our ugly mugs on Wednesdays and Fridays, we are on YouTube, One Word, Tabletop Topics. We also have our Triple T's Clips channel and our TikTok channel. So if you see any clips that you love and you want to watch the full um, episodes on the on YouTube, go ahead and click on the link and it'll take you right there directly. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, ring the notification bell, and leave us a comment if you want to talk about anything or you want us to have uh, um, a conversation on something specific. Um, yeah. 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 What's up, Jeff? What's going hey, on? Hey, uh, day one of my midweek weekend. Your bum day? Bum day. Dis- or decompression day, I should decompression say. Decompression day. <clears throat> yes, sir. Um, but uh, it's dope, man. Yeah. We've, ever since that last uh, <laughs> discussion we had, we've just been having a lot of interesting uh, conversations, just kind of dissecting a lot of things since I've moved in. And you know what? The outlook of the future. The future and, mm-hmm. for both of us. And, and stuff like that and how we want to use our, our, our time. Of course, that's why I got on my uh, ukulele frog hat or beanie. I'm prepared to uh, actually absorb. You're on a the... trip, you gonna eat mushrooms, Jeff? Oh yeah, alive. It's uh, existen- yeah. existential. Existential mushrooms. I got you, bro. I got it's, you, man. It's gonna have me thinking on a different level, but I know, yeah. Um, we've been, uh, you, we had a conversation earlier today about time. I know that. Um, um, we as people say that we don't have a lot of time to do a lot of things. And um, I know that you were saying something along the lines of um, why don't you, you said you're weird because for you, it's like you want to learn something new every single day or every single minute that you have. But for a lot of the general populace, uh, we always say we don't have time to do it. But in actuality, we do, Um, which is why sometimes I always said, I always say, if you look at your phone, it shows you how much minutes, hours, or days you spend on a specific app. That's right. And then that time that you're spending on the app is the time you could have been learning how to build something, researching a new word, um, learning a new language. Well, not learning a new language, but learning a a word phrase in a different language, uh, learning the landscape of, of the earth or mm-hmm. work places that you might want some to visit. life hacks, quick fixes. Yeah. Laugh, yeah. Life hacks, quick Stuff fixes, like that. Yeah. things that things that you people think are, or <laughs> might find useless are actually not useless information, <laughs> but they'll never know when they're going to need it in the future. And you investing like a minute to learn like a, quibit of information is could save you time of in course. the future you know when some issue like that comes up of course you know what i'm saying and it's just in general like how do you wake up and just not want to know shit you know what i'm saying yeah you gotta go to work and stuff but you know what i'm saying while you're at work ask yourself questions about your job mm. you know ask yourself questions about the shit that you're doing why are we doing it this way you know what i'm saying usually you can find uh, answers in that and increase your productivity or increase how or increase uh, how easy the work becomes for you and stuff like that. Yeah, it's just but it's just wanting to just know stuff like you just have to want to know. Yeah, it's like um, it's like just I say, it's like I say uh, with with the position I am in at uh, Publix, it's it's given me a lot of not just managerial skills, but it shows it, it taught me how to. Um, create a business, um, read gross and net, um, read um, income, all that stuff like that. So it's 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 taught me a lot of the the computer basic aspect of it, how uh, gross, uh, how uh, net profit works, mm-hmm. how gross profit works, all that mm-hmm. stuff like that. So it's like um, 
that in itself is time that I use to learn it. Yeah, and, and it really goes to show you that I don't really need a business degree to learn certain things because I've applied that aspect into what we do outside of work. Right. If you um, see what I'm saying. But um, what did you say to me? You said, um, oh, no, this is what I said to you. Do you think technology, I mean, I know it helps, but do you think technology has crippled people? Um I just said, well, or or social media. Would you say social media? Or would you say technology? That that that's just encompasses all hand in hand. Yeah, it's hand in hand. Yeah, but like, what are we gonna do? Go back? No, we can't. You know we can't saying? go back. Snatch everyone's <laughs> decommission all. Yeah, <laughs> all tech. But like you all, like you always hear from the P, uh, from the rich guys in Silicon Valley is their kids don't partake oh, absolutely and, and, and they know. It, yeah because they know what it is it's like a drug but it's like um like i should start practicing what what i preach because i'm always telling people well you always tell me you don't have time but if you again then, then, then what 15 minutes you spend scrolling on tiktok exactly you see what i'm saying and not realizing if, how fast time goes by right you know what i'm saying and then you're like well now i don't have time well you just wasted 15 minutes. 15 minutes of it consuming crap not saying you shouldn't you know everyone should have a brain and, rot day yeah have like watch brain rot whenever you feel like it mm -hmm. but it's like if that becomes constant where you can't even focus on what's happening or a show or something like that and you're just scrolling mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying it's like how are you really internalizing the information that's being shown to you that's important later on down yeah. the line you see what i'm saying or something that you could just remember because it's like, I can show you information, but if you don't, and, and, in, the, and in, the, in the example I gave you, it was like, I'll show someone something, they, they're they completely distracted while they're watching it. And so then, you know they're not paying attention. So I know they're not paying attention, and they're like, I just don't get it. What's well, like, well, they're speaking plain English. But you're not paying attention. Your brain, uh, that, that, and that's where you were saying your brain can't multitask. That's there's just, no such thing as multitasking. There's no such thing as multitask. It's just what uh, people say. But um, it's like your brain flips off to do hey, something it's just else. It's rapidly switching, switching its, back and forth. It's attention, and we 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 um we call that multitasking, but it's not. Multitasking is not something that exists. It's just something that your brain rapidly right. flips back and forth. And it's to your own detriment because you're not really absorbing the entire right. information 100. percent Right. You're only taking partial um, right. things from it. You know what I'm saying? It's it's just stuff like that. I don't know. I guess you could say yeah, it's fucked up our attention span, but. Who doesn't know that? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Who doesn't know that? Now, if you know it's fucked up our attention span, replace the things in that mm -hmm. with shit that'll improve your, you know, knowledge, like your understanding mm -hmm. of the world and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's say you're addicted to TikTok. Like I told you, when I'm on TikTok, the only people I follow, science, tech, art. Mm-hmm some sports <clears throat> now if i'm scrolling i find something funny like it's dumb like it's a dumb joke or a prank or like a reaction or something like that i'll like it but i won't follow the page yeah you see what i'm saying but then the algorithm will add similar things to it right but i know the people i follow that's what it's going to push to me. push to you okay i see what you're saying you see what i'm saying so if they have like new educational content or like oh learn a new word you know today's word is blah bam now i know this word mm-hmm you see what I'm saying? And and it goes back to what I said when we were speaking with uh, Javon. Mm -hmm. where I was just like, once you really expand your vocabulary, you can express yourself a lot more in detail. You know how to uh, uh, um, articulate what you mean, what you want to say, how you feel. Yeah. You know whether saying? it be art, um, um, right. whether it be art, music. Right. Or just in a general reading, conversation. Reading, right. having a conversation, yeah. Because... Uh, a perfect example I can use, which is crazy to me because um, when I was at the Bonita store uh, three weeks ago, mm -hmm. I would have certain conversations with the young kids, like the 19 year olds. And then I would say, do you do you um, do you have a conundrum? And they're like, what does that mean? Right. And it's like it's a problem that's that's what the word the conundrum means problem but of course like you said if you're if you're stuck on your phone 24 7 you can't expand your vocabulary or even if you're on your phone look for something educational right. 
like the school you're of like life. oh i don't have time i don't feel like i have time well if you don't feel like you have time look at the garbage shit you're putting in your brain you could fill free up mental space like mm-hmm. mental time you know what i'm saying where you feel like well now that i have this piece of information it's not going to hold me back in curating other information yeah that i'm taking and i don't have to waste as much time doing research or trying to verify this shit mm-hmm. because i already know what it is yeah yeah you yeah, see what I'm saying? yeah like you're saying too um let's say you go to brazil to visit and you you uh throughout your 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 reads you're learning some words in portuguese so when you get there at least you you have an understanding of where to go because not everything is in english i mean the the world is most of the world speaks english but not everywhere is english so it's like right. when you read the word what well, if you don't have your phone that has the google that can translate the words for you then you're going to have to know how to get to certain places without that knowledge or visit certain beautiful spots that are safe and not dangerous and all that stuff like that so yeah they have tour guides and shit but that's more if you're trying to spend that kind of money exactly oh if you're already going there you're gonna spend that money of course yeah yeah for sure (laughs) well for sure but it's like even even in the tourist areas there's still some uh sometimes there's danger where right. where you get kidnapped and all that stuff like that, which I'm not saying that generally happens, but I'm just I'm just giving a a, a, a general statement and, and an example of of if it's it were yeah the possibility if it were to happen, just like um, taken. I have a very special set but of skills. But you have no skills. <laughs> but I have no skills. So they just got took. That's it. I got taken. <laughs> That's and it. Jeff never saw me again. <laughs> <laughs> Help me, police! Nah, he's gone. That's wild to me, bro. That's he's wild gone. To me. That's crazy to me. But um, yeah, um, cause I I know that I've been away from social media for five years, cause I w- I was in a relationship. So um, what were you what were you uh kind of explaining to me of the algorithm and how everything has changed? Cause literally, well, yeah, it just hit you all. Okay, you don't you, five years, dude, off of social media. So many things happen. Because before you left uh, social media, like, Snapchat was barely, like, I don't Launching? Know. No, like, that's when they really started going crazy with the filters and shit like mm. that. And then it started getting a lot more, I guess, colorful. And then stories started popping off. Yeah. And then Instagram, TikTok. TikTok started revolutionizing. Because in the beginning, like, TikTok was... No, because even when you left, it wasn't TikTok. It there was, was not, it yeah. was musically. Yeah, it was musically. But that was for kids. It was Vine musically and yeah, then. but musically was for kids. Like yeah. you ain't seen nobody our age on musically and shit like mm-hmm. that. It was just people lip singing and shit like that. Yeah, so, you know what I'm saying. So you didn't really miss not nothing with that. But TikTok, sorry, they just dropped up. TikTok, and it's like this shit knows you. You know, mm-hmm. it knows what you want to watch, and it'll it'll drag you into a rabbit hole. It's not even, oh, yeah, this is funny, you know, keep it moving. It's like, oh, you like this? This is all we're going to show you. Gotcha. Because that's what stimulates that's your brain. That's all we're going to show you. You know what I'm so saying? So the algorithm stimulates your brain and makes you continue to want to. Yeah. So at the end of the night, because uh, I'll hear, oh, yeah, I was on TikTok last night. It started at 9. Now it's 3 a.m. in the morning. And you're, that's a lot of. Uh, that's crazy. It's a lot of brain rot. you don't have time, though. Yeah. You don't have time to learn about a fucking, I don't know, a star or some shit. Or mm-hmm. a constellation. I don't know, man. Learn some shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like the life hacks. Where, oh, we don't have a lighter. You know? I shouldn't be giving people this information. But, oh yeah. <sighs> we, 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 we don't have a lighter. Okay. Do you have a stove? Yes. Okay. Get a piece of spaghetti. Light the stove on. And put the tip of the spaghetti on the stove. Boom. You got a little match. Yep. And it's going to burn. And it's going to burn. Why? Because, you know, there's oil in the in the, in and the it's pasta. Dry. And it's dry. Because mm-hmm. there's dust. The dust ignites on the pasta yep. and shit like that. You know, you ever seen like a, a grain a grain silo fire explode yeah. because of all the dust particulates yep, in there? Yep, and it spreads like that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So... Just shit like that. But you wouldn't know that. Scrolling, watching people shake their ass, prank people, ask people mm-hmm. dumb questions on the street and yeah. shit like that. And it's like, come on, bro. Come on. Now you go into Family Dollar and 
wasting gas and buying a pack of <laughs> I'm not saying I'm cheap like that. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just giving you an example. I'm buying a pack of lighters. What? Fuck that. <laughs> I'm buying a pack of lighters. Fuck you mean. He's saying just you're, you're basically. I'm just giving you an example. Exactly. You basically, if, if 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 you're in that situation where you don't have a lighter or a match, that's that would be your solution. Not saying that you wouldn't. Like if you need something real quick, real quick and stuff. Now, say like, let's say it's a birthday. The matches don't work and the light. There's no more lighters or yeah. the lighters are duds. Well, you got a piece of spaghetti. You got a stove. There gonna be go. like. There you go. Light your candles. You gonna know? be like Cindy. Why is your dad using the spaghetti <laughs> <laughs> to light your candles? We're going to talk about this at school tomorrow. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> he lit the birthday cake oh, with spaghetti. Shit. Yep. <laughs> spaghetti. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Wait, what did he say? Somebody ate my spaghetti or someone took my spaghetti? No, he's like, that's uh, racist or something like that. <laughs> oh, that was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you're not supposed to talk about. Was it the mafia? The mafia. You're not like supposed it. to talk about the mafia, the crimes they committed. Da da da. That's appropriation of uh, blah blah of blah. Of the culture. culture. And then the first comment I see. A cook with a spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, God <laughs> dang. That's oh, crazy. Man. That's good. And then every comment after, I cook with a pasta. It's on me. <laughs> I'm like, I hate y'all, man. Like I you said, hate y'all, but like you man. said, there's a time and place. There's a time and place, there's a time and place for it, but um, there's a time and place for that. Like you said, to learn a new skill um, is amazing because then you're like, I can utilize this. Yeah, and it saves you time. It does. You invest time, you save time. Because invest a little bit of time. Say, invest one minute a day. Learn, learn a little quick quibbit or some shit like that. Yeah. You know, learn learn some quick information. And, like, really take in the information. Like, try to verify this piece of information. Don't you know? just take it at face value and then regurgitate it and say, "Right, I heard it, so I know it. Understand Dude. why, though. Yeah, understand, understand why. why. Which is why I was telling you that starting tomorrow, I'm going to do a little of that every day on my break where I, I mm-hmm. either research something new, learn a new word, right. um, or add, uh, add, a, uh, add a new language to my vocabulary. Mm-hmm. Um, words that people don't really use in today's um, today's day and age because, like I said, you have conversations with people. Yeah, and then you say some shit, and they're like, what the fuck does that mean? Exactly. I don't know. Google it. Yeah. Enlighten yourself. But that's what, yeah, that's what I remember. That's what you used to tell me. You said, instead of me telling you, Google it. Jeffy used to tell us that too. Yeah. She used Google to tell us that when we were young. She's like, you don't know what it means? Google it. Google it. it. And then you'll Figure learn. It out. Yeah, exactly. You, you Figure can't, it out. The world is not going to give you I'm answers. Not giving you, I'm not Google. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not going to give you that. I don't got the answer. No, I ain't got the answers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. So, it's just shit like that, man. Yeah. I don't know. It's always the, uh, I don't have time. And it's just like. Well, um, what was it? Last night I closed. <laughs> um, I was working with a a young a, a young uh, leveler. And she's uh, going into marine biology. And. She's always telling me that she doesn't have time to do certain things. And that's when I use the example. Well, if you look at your phone, because she has a smartphone, how much time do you spend on a specific app or or a certain thing? And she's like, yeah, you're right. I said, besides studying, because you say you go home, you, you, you go to your dorm, you study, mm-hmm. uh, go to school, and then you come to work. But I guarantee you, and I even said, if you want, you can start creating like a portfolio mm-hmm. and 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 put what specifically you're going to do or do it on your phone right like put what you're specifically going to do at this uh at this hour or this time so you can at least get some of your time back and not just focus it all on the, i'm not saying failure marine right. biology class because we need marine biology <laughs> biologists but what i'm saying is is prioritize your time because you don't want it to just be about school uh, homework and work because that's not a life mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying uh, I know you're passionate about what you want to do and you're working on your bachelor's right now but at the same time or find a way to incorporate what you like to do exactly exactly and try, and, it, and whether it well whether it be going to um, like a sanctuary or whether it be right. um, studying the um, studying the mating patterns of an animal or mm-hmm. something like that like I, I, I'm not I'm just Pulling shit off. Get the top. ahead of 
everyone else. You exactly. Know what I'm like if I knew, like first time I went into um, college, and like a lot of my undergrad was super fucking easy, because I just knew this shit. Yeah. Like I was just on this information for so long since I was a kid. They're just refreshing it. And I'm just like, I already know the shit. Da da da. Pass. I'm out. Yeah. First one out the class. Bam. Done. First one out the class. Bam. Done. Take notes. I already got bullet points. You know what I'm saying? And I have the mental notes of everything that I already learned. And shit like that. So, like, that was a fucking breeze. You know what I'm saying? It's just shit like that. I don't know. It just saves you time, bro. It just saves you time. You know what I'm saying? And people... I don't know. I don't know, man. So, you got any questions for me? Do I have any questions? For yes, you? sir. In the sense of... Since I've been out and coming back, because I, I I will admit that I have been consumed by social media. Word. Because I've been away from it for so long. Word. And I know that even even with music, when you're telling me, oh, yeah, I don't know how you can't like music. I, yeah, just music. music. Like, I get it. You know, people have taste mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But it's like. If you actually. Like, listen to the music. Mm-hmm. Like, you got to put your soul in everything you do. Yeah. Like, when you're listening, listen with your soul. You know what I'm saying? When you're learning something, learn it with your soul. You know, like, truly appreciate what this person is producing. Mm -hmm. And then if it's bad, like, appreciate how bad it is and understand why it's bad. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can find appreciation in, like, shit stuff, you know? Not saying, like, not appreciate to say it's good, but yeah. it's like, I appreciate that I now know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. now I, now <clears throat> I know. Because anybody can just come up to me and show me music and be like, oh, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. But I've heard such a range of sound. You know what I'm saying? That you're, 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 you're custom and you like everything right. that you hear. Regardless of how brain rotting it is, stupid it is. Bad, right. good. Like, even if it's dumb, I can understand the yeah. comedy and the wordplay. Like, mm-hmm. which is why, I like, Rio, Crispy Life, RMC Mike, uh, what should I call it? Uh, Something Tron. Something Tron. But, yeah, like, all those Flint rappers and stuff, the mm-hmm. Michigan rappers and stuff. Because, like, yeah, they talk shit, but it's like, who's saying this? Yeah, nobody is. Like who? Is that's why it's different. In, that's why it's different and unique. Like that's it, and it's crazy to me because like they're saying it and it makes sense, but it's like this is crazy, mm-hmm. you know. Well, even with them and their word flow, they're using double entendres. Everything in, in it. It's everything. Yeah. It's like they'll compare you to an escalator, and it's just like the way they get <clears throat> from that from point A to point B. And then insult you <laughs> as you step turn, of the yeah. way. Like, that's crazy to me. Like, that's amazing to me. You know what I'm saying? And then that's how you learn about different producers mm-hmm. and what type of sounds they bring in to the table. And it's like, what blows my mind is because, like, I learned about this producer named, this engineer named Germ, mm-hmm. J E R M. He made a, 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 a beat for Cochise um, on Take It Off. Mm-hmm. And I like Take It Off so much. I was like, I just like the sound of Take It Off. Yeah. Not specifically the person rapping mm-hmm. on it. Like, I just like the sound he was making. Yeah. So it was just like. You can block out the rap. And right. Like, just this was sound. amazing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I want, I'll just look for an instrument or something like that. But, like, I'll listen to the song mm-hmm. just to hear the production. You know? And it's just like, it's a beautiful, Just it's just amazing. And, like, I went and I looked him up and I follow him on Spotify and YouTube. And the dude only has 230 subscribers. Yeah, I saw that too. Dude only has 230 subscribers. And so I'm just kind of listening to this. And I'm like, I love this guy's music. It's just and what's so... A, what's, and he did and he did a piece for Cochise? Yeah. As popular as that man is? Well, now he's popping off. He just recently started his tour for uh, Dr. Professor something. Like Mr... Mr. Professor Doctor or something. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Professor Doctor or something. And, and that's where, you know, I played that whole album for You mm-hmm. Don't Run. And, and yeah, I really run. loved it. Yeah. And it was really Flex, good. Jet Flex mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Like, 
I just like the sound, and Kuchise really adopts that sound. Yeah. When he makes his music, like, that's the sound he goes for. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But listening to him led me to find Germ. You and then saying? now you can recognize Germ's right. beats Germ's throughout beats, everybody music. that he makes music for. Exactly. I got you. You know what I'm saying? So it's just stuff like that. Like, I really, I'm really interested in producers and what type of sounds they can mesh together and be like which is why when vic was here know, right you yeah know i saying? got you like that I, I love that you know and then the vice versa with you know artists you know mm-hmm. uh, uh javon hip-hop artists like how they use words and how i used to describe him or it's like he can see the word even before he says it. exactly like to be able to think that fast it's like every beat every rhythm has a word behind it and they just it like the words come out and then he just adds it to but the that's beat. the thing like you have to know words yeah i can speak words mm-hmm. but like i truly have to know words and how words work mm-hmm. if i'm gonna form you know a bar with it yeah i can't just say words that rhyme or a punchline and it like I'm just using words. What's well, like uh the the song that the rap that we were listening when after um, when we were driving home on eighty two today. Um, oh, great. Yeah, yeah, where he was uh, uh talking about you, the universe and 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 all that stuff like that. But um, it's just amazing how he 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 puts it well together because it's like it makes you think right something bigger. But he's also teaching you. It's like he's teaching you a lesson right. at the same time as you're listening to you're the. You're like, what the fuck is this guy saying? Started at the foam of the quantum verse, on a journey from the beginning to the omniverse. The the closest, the shortest distance you could reach at the speed of light. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, watch me take the same path as the neutrinos flight. He's literally talking about the Big Bang. The Big Bang Theory. But, of course, like you said, if nobody knows what it is. What's quantum What's quantum foam? Okay. Yeah. That's immediately after the Big Bang. Mm-hmm. Everything's compressed, superheated. Quantum mechanics, quantum physics does not exist in this realm because you have strange matter, uh, 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 like, forming because of all the pressure, heat, and gas mm-hmm. due to the Big Bang. You see what I'm saying? And then that's where you get, like, black hole stars. Yep. That's where you get strange matter. You get shit like that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but ask a person that doesn't really know what that means. But they don't care. But they don't care. Yeah. They don't care. Because we we as uh, people or human beings prioritize our time with nonsensical things that aren't very, really important. Yeah. Garbage in, garbage out. Yep. That's and, it, and it's like, what are you, what are you learning from it? And like I said, I'm, I'm a, I, I wouldn't say I'm a victim of it, but I'm, I'm one of the people, right? Garbage in, garbage out, e- eating it up. It's like it. prime example. For example, let's say you're obsessing over manosphere shit, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not everything they're saying is valid. No, nope. that's based off of their opinion. So exactly. So garbage in, right? Mm-hmm. So now you're taking this information that you're wasting your time on instead mm-hmm. of actually like. Learning Talk, something. Talking to people. You know? Yeah, yeah, because most of the time a lot of people are behind the computer and yeah. then they'll Instead type of in. talking and... to a IRL person. <laughs> you know that blows uh, my mind. A real, a That's real. That's Motherfuckers is making millions off of, a real. off of niggas because they don't want to talk to people in no, real life. Exactly. That's crazy to be. Exactly. Because they can't talk to people in real life. What did, uh, what did uh, Hassan say today about uh, th- this generation? He says all you guys care about is a hot, hot chips, cheap. hot chips, uh, fuck, charging your phone, charging your phone, bisexual, and, and shitting on the other gender. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> and shitting on the yeah. other. Oh, it's like what? And, and it's like. What? And it's like, bro, <laughs> it, it, when when we used to like, you, <laughs> like you said, <laughs> <laughs> sensational. Oh man! Bro. No, but 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 he's right, and it's like, and it's like, and and the way he was saying it too, like we're all everybody 
in the in the videos that he was watching are pieces of shit because this person's making money off of this person by posting this online and then the person that's valid is making money off of that person bringing more people bringing more traffic to that person's page right. and that so everybody's making money off right. of it so i understood i understood where he was coming from when he said that um at the end of the day everybody's <laughs> is a piece of shit as he as he quoted because He's like, everyone participate because at the end of the day this is all for views and money exactly you see what i'm saying whatever message you were trying to get across has been skewed because you're more focused right. on right and then you know and then your opinion is not fact so it's like a of lot of people it's an opinion <laughs> <laughs> go ahead go ahead i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry no you're good I'm man sorry. you're good go ahead. no but your opinion is not your opinion is not fact but a lot of people like you said sitting behind that computer mm -hmm. are gonna take it as is and what are they gonna do they're gonna eat it up and spit it back out and that's why that's why for me um i'm very i'm a very sociable person i'm a people person mm -hmm. i love talking to people in person like right. so, it's well, still draining though but yeah i like doing that well yeah you're an introvert because the, the, the benefit <laughs> in talking to people is now i get to learn something that's what that's what contradicts like me not wanting to and you that's know. and that's the thing too. I don't just look at it as networking. I look at it. I as, just want to know more. Exactly. And for me, I it's see. like, like when I got to the store uh, three weeks ago, I'm like, okay, so and so, who are you? Why do you do this? Where do you see yourself? What what is the stipulations that put you in the positions that you're in, and how far do you want to take this? Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying every question starts off like that. But it's just I'm, I'm just giving you a general sta uh, statement of that's what that's that's how I am. Like if you're an interesting person to talk to, like I remember when I met Mark, the person that we had an interview with. Oh, word. word yeah. Word, word. So Mark was I was at that store for a week, a weekend, a weekend, four days before I said, would you like to come on the podcast and have a conversation with us? Mm -hmm. Yes, I was networking. But at the same time, I was trying to read the guy. And he just, he's just a guy that thinks outside the box. Mm -hmm. Like, he has questions. He says, I'm not going to take things at face value. I will always ask, which is why I, um, he, I was so interested in it. And he's like, when he came to me and he's like, when I asked him the question, he said, yeah, man, I've been kind of reading you and trying to figure out, are you, are you part of the crowd or mm -hmm. are you the person that... Um, questions the crowd you see what i'm saying mm -hmm. so that's what that's that's kind of what i always do and and for me it's not draining i, I know you're an introvert and you get drained very oh, fast dude, the struggle's real man I, i'm yeah. sorry that's that's the way uh that's, that's the way the universe or god made you i'm sorry sir oh. that is tough i'm sorry like if if you want me to teach you something fuck yeah i'm hyped yeah I'll try to but that's that. the thing you get excited when you when you teach somebody something new and then that's why I love about it when we have conversations, like um, when we have um, deep conversations or we just have conversations about something new or you show me a video and then we dissect it. Mm -hmm. We go into it. You teach me something new. I internalize it. Like a lot of things that you've taught me, I've actually thought about it, learned it, and then would express it to other people and see if they're interested in learning. But then the best part is when they come back and ask you more questions. Right. Like, why is this like that? Why is this like this? Why is this like that? And then, or I tell them that, all right, this is where the part, we'll figure it out. yeah, this is the part where you put on your big boy pants yeah. or big girl pants and then go out and, and try to figure yeah. out yourself. You I can't give you the answers to anything mm -hmm. because you, my, you, in, in, in your world perspective, you might think I'm right, but then somebody else might come in and says, oh no, he's wrong. That's not true. Or just go to open AI and ask chat GPT or just ask your Alexa. Just ask your Alexa. Yeah, she'll tell you. You know what I'm saying? Like, just ask the shit. The Wikipedia dictionary says. <laughs> <laughs> while somebody's changing it while you're uh, asking for the definition. That's I, true. I wonder how many times people have to go in and fix it. Because no, well, no. Now you need a certain level of access. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's not free for right, anybody to change right. it now. Okay. Because remember the whole debacle on, uh, what was it? What is a recession? <laughs> exactly. That's why they implemented that. Well, that's one of the reasons why they implemented yeah. that rule on who has authority to edit a page. Ah, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. So you have to be an official in order to edit the page. So yeah, so uh, going back to the whole Hassan thing, and that that's kind of what he was saying, which is why when I was watching him, because I know you 
you you were on him for a minute and then you got off because he was uh, spit nothing but brain rot his perspective on how he sees the world is completely different mm-hmm. he'll listen to both sides now like, uh, how do you not get bored wake up and looking at the same shit every, day? every single day and, and every fucking day it's the same yeah. shit hamster wheel shit bro yeah. what the fuck and it's like when are yeah, when fuck? are we going to wake up, go outside, and look at it? And then we'll take a talk to a fucking person you never met. Like, yeah, what are you afraid of, bro? Motherfuckers are scared. But then, then what? What are people and, gonna and, come and, back? And in their fear, they become ignorant. They eat bullshit information because they're scared. Well, what are they gonna come back you with? Well, I do it on Omegle. That's not me and the person. That's not me and the person. You can go to a social setting. Behind because the then they're, they're the extremist is going to say, well, what if I get murdered? Right. Go to a social setting. Which blows my mind because motherfuckers, it was like this point was brought up. You'll record yourself for millions of people to watch. Mm-hmm. But if there's a camera on you or if someone watches you, like do something, like an act or something mm-hmm. like that. Like prime example, uh, the homegirl that was in the gym and did a handstand and recorded herself doing a handstand. And the guy in the back saw her do a handstand. Mm-hmm. So he looks. Hey, Jeff, if you're in the gym and you see someone do a handstand, what are you going to do? I'm going to look. Hey, Jeff, if you're in the because, mall because and you see someone do a handstand, what are you going to do? I'm going to look. Okay, why? Hey, Jeff, if you're in church and you see someone do a handstand, what you going to do? I'm going to look. You know why? Because my fat ass can't fucking do a handstand. It's cool mm-hmm. to see people. When I see people do backflips, I look. Right. So she caught that moment and then put some words. Um, flipped it on its head and made it seem like he was a creep. Yeah, but, saying he was angry because he, right. because I was doing a handstand. Why would somebody be angry that you're doing that? That I was recording him. That's what it was. That's what, that's what was stated. <laughs> you know? You so it's just stuff. It's just stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like That's what you're putting your time in. Garbage in, garbage, garbage out. Garbage out. And that's when that's when you were saying, yeah, we can record. Uh, 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 most, most people can record themselves. Um, but when they're in front of an audience, it's completely different. Like you and I can, like I was giving you a, a, a crazy example. We've performed in front of people. Exactly. You and I have performed, performed in front of large audience. Lo- the entire large school audience. audience. Yeah. Alone. Alone. Yeah. Alone. So you and I were. This is why we're people, uh, people, people, and we ha- we can have conversations with anybody we see and or meet. But the thing is, yes, there's no audience here watching us record ourselves. But if there was, we'd still be able to. I'd still. We'd still be able to have a conversation, which is why I was giving you that crazy idea. Like if we were in all the in the auditorium doing a tabletop topics episode, and then we just had the general audience ask us what topics do they want to talk about or have a general conversation, then we'd be able to do it without freaking the fuck out. Mm-hmm. But again, too, most people sit behind the camera by themselves in a room, and it's just recording them. And then after they're done, what do they do? They edit it. They fix it. If something makes them look fat or skinny, they're going to make it either uh, um, to fit their their um, their uh, visual view. They're going to change everything about it. And then they just release the video. And then people will look at it at face value without even questioning it. Like dissect it. Like you said, the world doesn't really dissect or try to understand. No shit. No shit. Yeah. Uh, they uh, want to be spoon fed the answers. And then think they deserve the t- the rewards to reap the rewards. Yeah. People want to get rich for free. And that's the thing. That's what it is. Yeah. It, it doesn't work and, like that. And and if that's your base mode of operation, you're never going to want to learn anything. No. Oh. You're always going to be a victim of everything cuz you don't want to learn. Like you just there's just something in you it's like I truly don't give a fuck about knowing any more than the next person. It doesn't matter until it, you're in that situation. And it's crazy. It's how I look at it. It's crazy. Like, perfect example. People always look at my wrist and they're like, what's on your wrist? Because they always think it's a watch. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, it's not a watch. It's a whistle, compass, fire starter, knife, and rope. They're like, why do you have it? I say, if I ever end up in a situation, I know how to use it. Yeah. I know how to read a compass. I know how to start a fire without a match, mm-hmm. like you were saying, for example. And then, of course, the rope on there to help me with any situation. It has flint in it, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, it has flint on the on the, on the the rod mm-hmm. in, the, in the thing. Uh, let me show you guys. This is it. And then, of course, the rope is uh, right there. The rope is the wrist thing. So, And, of course, and I have a bug out bag in my car. But it's like... Um, it's better to know than to not know. And if you don't know, learn. 
because there's no such thing as useless information. Learn. That's why I would say there's no such thing as a stupid question because if no one asked it, how would we know the answer to it? Right. See what I'm saying? So um, that's that's why that's why when like you said, if we all take things at face value. It's like, nah, man. It's it, we can't. You can't just. He did this or she did this. Now let me regurgitate what he and she did. With a, without even knowing the context. It's weird as fuck. Guilty before you're proven innocent. That's weird as fuck. Not innocent before you're proven guilty. That's weird as fuck. Yeah. So how'd that correlate with time, sir? I believe, not feel, I believe if we were to prioritize what we do, like the 15 minutes that we spend on TikTok or the hour that we spend on Instagram or the 30 minutes that we spend on Facebook. I believe that if we added up all those minutes, that's what blows my mind. Cause yeah. the, the ease of access that we have to tech and just having the answers for everything, the information is there. We just, how are we so not, dumb? Because we choose not to explore or like how, learn. Like why is it so hard to just ask Google? Yeah. Even or, if you don't even want to look it up, yeah. just say, hey, Google. We look up a tutorial. Or, hey, t- Siri. Yeah, I'm not telling you go get a degree in it, but just, like, understand a basic concept. Yeah. Or explain quantum physics to me like a fifth grader. Because mm-hmm. it, it's like... Like, just shit like that. It, explain, like, just... Or, or, <laughs> or what, when you're walking the Great Wall of China, why was the Great Wall of China built? A lot of people can't give you the answers to that. But if you choose to one day look it up and see why it was built, then you can understand the history behind it, the locks that they put on it, when visitors come, why they do certain things, well, how long did and it, it take? And it was way longer than yeah. what you actually see. Exactly. And and, and why, why they built it, this and that. Like, I, I know Matt Damon did a, a, a fantasy movie about why the Great Wall of China was built because of these, um, these uh, underworld green uh, lizard creatures. <laughs> something like that no sir yeah yeah it was thought, weird yeah, th- no no but I'm just saying that's that's the reason why they built it so they wouldn't uh, inv- that in the movie that's why they built it so they wouldn't invade the the city but it wasn't stopping them but that was just kind of a fantasy take on it you're from but Mongolia I'm, yeah exactly but if we if we read the realistic reason why they built the Great Wall of China we'll learn that so if we do go visit the Great Wall of China it's not there just to post a selfie for Instagram or TikTok or say I visited this blah blah blah. I tried Chinese food. Why did why did why does why where did the culture of Chinese food come from? Why did people do what they do? Why is ramen so so um, important? Why is or popular I should say? Oh, in Japan. Or oh, in Japan. Why is ramen so important in Japan? Why is um um like just anything, man? Like mm-hmm. there's history behind everything, mm-hmm. and it's like there's history behind food. Buildings, and it makes your conversations culture. more interesting. Exactly, dude. exactly. Like, you're and not it's like be talking about what happened in social bull- media yeah, yesterday. Yeah, what happened on the news. Yeah, what happened. It's like I get it. You know, we're all reading and looking. Yeah, at we something. can talk about it, but like, can you reflect on it? Well, remember the example you used a while back, where you're like, yeah, there's a difference between visiting a place and googling a place and talking about it. It, the experience is way different. different. You cannot compare reading it right. to actually seeing it. But if you read it and then you went and saw it, exactly. then you can say what you read is completely different from what you experienced. Word. See, that's that's different. That's magical. Mm-hmm. Because you can actually say, oh, man, online it said this, but when I got to this place, this wasn't like that. And the experience was way different than what they said. The cave water was like this high and it was bluer than they said. And it was amazing. And these creatures were there, but it didn't show it on the, on the, on the, on the Wikipedia website. website or, or, yeah. it, it, it. So experience and visually reading it is different. Like you can say I went on a cruise ship or you can read about a cruise ship. Word. But then what if you read about it and then went on it? You and then the, all the stats. And exactly. Shit. That's the why I keep telling my fuck, I'm going to space. <laughs> space going yacht. Space. I'm going to appreciate gravity. Goddamn. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it, it'd be amazing to visit um, the, it'd be amazing to, because I know you, um, you're, in, you're huge into science. And I know we went to the Frost Museum of Science in Miami. What was it? Two years ago. 
But um, we should all, make that a thing. Just go because we've seen it when it first was erected. Yes. And then, like, they didn't really have a lot of stuff. No. And then we went what five years later, six yeah, years later, we went six years later, and they had way more stuff. Way and more different like, stuff. They're yeah. adding new exhibits. And the and things like, that we saw cool. five years ago wasn't what we saw now. And then it's right. like when they're they they're eat they're um, we went to the planet the planetarium. Yes. Oh, that was amazing. I loved it. That was cool. It was worth standing in line for. And which then, which one do because you had the solar system and then you had dark matter. We did dark matter because yeah, last exactly. time we last time know we, about the solar yeah system. because we we did the solar system last time and it wasn't it wasn't Morgan Freeman right it was um no it was a uh, this was someone else it was a woman yeah it was uh, I can't remember oh uh you, Lu, Lupita Mignongo Lupita Lupita Mignongo she Lupita, did Min, Mignongo is it Mignongo or Nyongo Nyong Lupita Nyong'o. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. If we if we fuck that up, just let us know. <laughs> oh yeah, she's fun to comment. Oh yeah, she is. She's like, yeah, it's actually you. What? <laughs> That's not my name. But no, no, she did the dark matter and how it was explaining how our how our um how the entire universe was was uh how ninety nine percent of the universe like of all the energy uh, uh in the universe ninety nine percent of it like we don't know what it is. Like we don't, or ninety five percent of it, we don't know what the fuck it is. Are you sure? Dark matter and dark energy. You know what I'm saying? It's just shit like that. It's what's holding us up. No, I think gravity is what. Once we find out gravity, Ben space time. Exactly. The end. The end. Gravity plus fusion. Oh man, what the heck? If we know gravity and fusion, fuck the rest of the. I'm trying to get to. Uh... The planet we were talking about. Alpha Centauri. Alpha Centauri. It was on Lost Proxima in Space. B and... It's oh, crazy. Yeah. I would love to see the the horizon of that. Oh, that'd be so amazing. With the multiple planets, because they're so oh, close be together. So and they're, they have three planets in the Goldilocks zone, because the sun is so... You think strong. they have any creatures out there? I don't know. Interesting don't to see. Know. It's it's so close yet so far. Yeah. If we were to go now with our regular rockets, it would take us what? You said sixteen billion, one hundred sixty bi- million years. It's in the thousands. One hundred thousand. I want to say sixty to seventy thousand. Sixty to seventy thousand years. Years. Yeah. Exa- exactly. It's That's like you can't do that. But um. Uh, but wait, the paradox though. It would take us <laughs> sixty to seventy thousand years. And then by the time they get there, we'll already be there. Yep, exactly. <laughs> I hate time. Yep, exactly. <laughs> That's why if we, if they can figure out how to bend space time, then I we, hate time. We should be able. So to So you get leave them. for a sixty thousand year trip, and you don't think we advance technology by then? Yeah. Oh no, nah, they're gonna meet you halfway there. On on the way there, and be like, bro, we been got there. Bro, let's just let's just put let's just use our gravity ray. Oh, you're still on you're still on the trip. Yeah, we've been got. There. Let's just use your gravity ray and just pull you along us. You're taking way too long right now. But um yeah, that's crazy. But no, to go to go full circle back to what it has to do with time, I believe if we if we do take the time or like um when we have vacations, mm-hmm. it can be instead of just fun, we can w- go like um i'm not saying all the time but instead of just it being fun like taking cruise trips and all that stuff like that it can always be a learning experience on whatever you do like uh like you said look at a museum (laughs) remember when we went to the frost museum of science five years ago hold your thought (laughs) um and the dinosaur exhibit was tiny and when we came back it was a fucking room and a half Dude, it was so amazing, and they had the life-size models of, of what a pterosaur, pterosaur, dactyl, that thing whatever. filled the whole room, bro. bro. That, was that thing was the amazing. size of a small biplane. It bro. was amazing, and that it's like just reading about it and uh, and their wingspan and all that, that stuff thing like was that. Huge. But go ahead and say what you were about to say. No, because like when you said fun, I was gonna be like, bro, anything can be fun. You just gotta be willing to learn. Yeah, exactly. You can make anything fun, even like, even when land terraforms. Right. You're like, how did how did this happen? The fact that I don't know about it makes it fun. Yeah. And then you know. add it to your roster of things that you do know. So like you said, when you do have a conversation, you're going to have a lot of things to talk about. I mean, that's just the base level of thinking. Maybe I'm not woke. I'm not elevated. Well, that's why I'm interested to see, because um, Netflix is releasing a movie in November of this year about technology and how it fails. Like, because the entire world was running on it. And it's like, where where will humanity head with that? 
and that's that's the, that's an interesting take on it. Like they didn't show much on the trailer, but I'm very curious to see how that's gonna work because everyone's driving Teslas, everyone's technology. Here's failed. the thing. Yeah, we rely on technology, but what's going to make us forget? Nothing. Like, okay, mass solar storm or giant EMP, nuclear mm -hmm. war happens. Like, does all that knowledge just disappear? No. Have we not miniaturized or nanofied 90% of everything? Yeah. Are we just going to forget how to make shit? No. You see what I'm saying? Like, no, I, I, I hear what right. you're saying. I hear what you're saying. Like, the only yeah, way right. we forget that, yeah. You genocide all of them. Yeah, that's true. But like we always say, we're cockroaches. Cockroaches. We ain't going nowhere. We keep going back. Goki booty, can you stop that, Goki booty, Goki booty. Goki booty. Goki booty, Goki booty. Goki booty, cucaracha. But it's it's like... um. Love it. it. Yep, love it. Um, love it. But it was like you were... It's like you were saying. You've you've watched so much um, anime that you got interested in the Japanese language and you started learning it. <laughs> like, even if it was a little bit at a time, now you can actually watch Japanese anime mm -hmm. or Japanese TV shows or movies without the subtitles. And it's the same thing with French. Like, you'll watch certain French shows. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, like, Kurtz Gazat. You'll watch the I'll French. i watch it in French. you watch it in French with mom. And it's like, Because okay. it's something I'm interested in, which is in science. So, if I'm interested, I'm going to try to pay attention. So, it's like two birds, one stone, right? Yeah. I want to learn a new language, but I'm interested in this subject. Okay, why not learn the subject in the new language? Even even now, you told me you're learning Korean because you said you want to. Not me. No. Oh, it's a Japan Japanese. Oh, you said you want to learn Japanese. So yeah. if you do go stay abroad for like a year or two, right. then you can actually indulge yourself in the culture instead I'll of. I'll never be able to indulge myself in the culture. I'm a foreigner, sir. That's one thing you got to learn about the You're culture. a rare foreigner. You're no, 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 no. Nah, we ain't even fun to play. <laughs> we ain't even fun to play. Nah, we ain't even fun to play. If you know about the culture, if you know about their culture, I'm a foreigner. I will never experience it. Well, culture. of course, of course. And and that's what you told me, too. You're like, if, you really, if you're really serious about going abroad for a year or two in Japan, learn their language. Don't just... And then learn their culture. Learn their culture. You'll never, like you said, you'll never understand it. But at least learn, learn it. their liberties. Learn their liberties. Don't just go in thinking I'm American and I can do whatever the fuck I want because I'm American. Um, go there, actually learn it, and then experience it and mm -hmm. see where they're coming from, their mm -hmm. culture, all that stuff like that. Um, understand their history, where they where they came from, and where they're at now. And and I believe that's time well spent because that's. That's that's how come I can have so many good conversations with uh, John White because it's it's always he's done a lot in his life and learned a lot of things and he can come back and share his experience based off of what he learned mm -hmm. when he was younger. So it's 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 amazing. That's how come every time I have a conversation with him, I can't leave the aisle. <laughs> so I have to pretend to be working or something like that. But no, man, it, it's just, and, and that's, that's why I want to be in my life, man. I want to be in that, I want to be in that, in that position where I can learn as much as I can before I die, because I know I have a finite amount of time. Right. And it's think, like, oh man, I need to set aside all this time to just learn something. Or like, they look at it as, well, when I become rich or when I get my retirement or when I do this, that's when I will have time to do everything. No, you have time now. It's just not being prioritized in the right areas. People don't look at it that way. They look at it as I don't have time. Mm -hmm. You do. Look look at look at me. Look what happened yesterday. What time did I get home? Twelve? Yeah. What time did I go to sleep? Two thirty? Mm -hmm. What time did I get up this morning? Four AM. <laughs> Crazy ass motherfucker. And then I went to the gym. Yeah. Got cool. home. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if I have time to do that, I could have just said, Nah, man, I'm too tired. I don't feel like going to the gym. Right. And say fuck it. Right. But same Ugh. thing with Fadner. Same thing with Fadner. Oh no, Fadner. Fadner's I know Fadner's on a new level, but that's what I'm giving you an example. And man out the stratosphere. Yeah, bro. but that's what I'm saying. Like he knows he knows the goal. He knows where he what he has to do to get where he needs to get. Mm -hmm. And he's not gonna use the excuse I don't have time. You see what I'm saying? That's crazy. And I think that's and the, and I think that's where we are in today's society. Like we always tell ourselves that we don't have time to do anything, mm -hmm. but we do. 
Mm-hmm. If if you look at if you look at how many people are on t- if we had the out uh, the uh, analytics for TikTok and see how many people have accounts in ours on there if they had like a live button like Instagram does like it shows you a little green dot in the corner when you're on probably billions right that's why I I, I feel like a lot of people put a lot of failures and and responsibilities on the universe yeah. Because they fail to understand that whatever they put their time in is mm-hmm. what they're going to get out. Yeah. You, you put in what you get out. Right. Exactly. So if you put time in doing dumb shit mm-hmm. and wasting time, well, yeah. Yeah. Time's going to punish you. Yeah, Because you're going to have less of it. That's why it's crazy to me when I hear when I hear some of these young kids tell me today, um, yeah, I just want to go home. I said, what are you going to do? Oh, I'm just going to lay down and watch TV. I'm like, Really? You're not going to go outside. You're not going to learn a new skill. You're not going to prioritize your time, doing anything productive. Think about what you're good at, where where you can, what do you want to do? do? Like, Like, and and it doesn't have to. Or listen to music. Yeah. Learn some new research, something. I don't. And it doesn't have to contribute to society. Right. It it can contribute to just like, but just lay down. Expanding your expanding your knowledge. Like I even had I even had this uh this one kid at the the other store that I was at. He's like, yeah, man, I know I'm an introvert. I don't really like talking to people, but I'm starting to get myself out there. And I said, yeah, man, I uh, I like having the conversation with you. I said, we did that with a friend here, um, Michael, uh, and we got him out of his shell. And then I said, I can do the same for you, man. We can, I just, I'll keep talking to you whenever I can. I got his number down. And then just, just keep having that conversation with him just so he can get comfortable. Because he's like, I don't like going home every single day and doing nothing. Because he's like, all I do is work and go to the gym. Right. He wants to do more with his life, and he's only twenty twenty one years old. I feel that he doesn't want to be one of those. I stay at home. I work. I go to the gym, and I do it. Lather, rinse, repeat. Yeah, man. So um, the first thing he told me he ever did, which was out of his comfort zone, but he did it because he's like, I got one life to live. Is he went to his brother, his brother in law's um, New Year's New Year's party, Word. and he said he liked it. So I said, bro, just yeah, continue. You probably met new people. Exactly. Like exactly. So, um, and uh, so like I said, to go full circle with the whole time thing. I think that's what that's what we can do. Like, if we prioritize, um, getting off our phones, and right. or if we are on our phones, at least learning something new, watching an educational video. Like you, um, introduced me to the School of Life. It teaches you something about life every single day. Mm-hmm. And it's like different aspects. Mm-hmm. It's not only talking about mental. It talks about physical. Mm-hmm. It talks about social. Uh, social. Mm-hmm. It talks about um, spiritual. I mean, it, it, it gets you into it. And, and it makes you think. Like when I'm watching these videos, I'm like, shit, they're talking about me without talking to me. Mm-hmm. And it's like, it makes me reflect on it. And I love mm-hmm. those videos because it's like, man... It, 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 it might not relate to this person, but that video might relate to that person. And it even talks about history, too. Mm-hmm. That's what I love. It doesn't just focus on the mental, physical, and emotional aspect of a human being right. or their life. Um, it also talks about history. And, like, there was one that says, why Socrates hated democracy. Mm. That was on School of Life. Did you? What did you get from that? Well, no, I did. No, it, it oh, popped, you didn't watch it. No, it popped okay. up on my feed. So okay. that's that's one of the videos that I want to watch. Right. So when I finish watching it, then I'll come back and and actually give you a response on that. Right. But that was interesting to me. Why he he um, he he hated the democ- he he hated democracy, but he was mostly part of it during his life. So it's like yeah, man. things like that, man. So for I, me, like yeah, go like, ahead. I always. Sorry to cut you off. No, you're good, man. You're good. That, I was kind of going to end it with that. I just realized I did that. I got to stop that. No, nah, um, go ahead. I learned when you have a thought, I got to let you speak it because you will forget real quick because your brain is moving a million miles a minute. So that's okay. Oh. I don't know if other people don't like that, <laughs> but I I'm your stab. brother. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut the, let me finish my let sentence. Let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> you what? Let me finish. Uh, All right, go ahead, man. I don't know, like, it's just, like, you guys just take a perspective of just, like, you got to be outside yourself, Mm -hmm. you know, and truly appreciate existence. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's just a vessel that's been gifted an expiration date. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use as much time as I can early on 
That way I don't have to learn this shit later on. Yeah. That's, that way life doesn't have to teach me mm-hmm. this lesson. You see what I'm saying? And if life's teaching me this lesson, I lost time. If yeah. life has to teach me a lesson, I lost time for life to for teach For life to teach you that you lesson, yeah. So let me learn as much as I can, mm-hmm. no matter how redundant or useless the information may seem. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And truly retain it and understand it. And if I don't understand it, periodically I'll go back and try to understand the subject. It's not like I'm sitting down binge watching, you know, fucking Quantum Magazine or mm-hmm. some shit like that. Well, it's like... Um, or PBS Space Time or yeah. some shit like that. It's just like periodically... Oh, that's interesting. Hey, I remember they mentioned that mm-hmm. in that last video. I'm not going to go back and, you know, Google it. Yeah. But, like, the next time I see the video, I'll understand the reference. Okay, this is what he means. And then they'll have another video that goes in depth. Yeah, and then when I have time, I'll be like, okay, I really want to understand this. Mm-hmm. All right, now I get it. Yeah, and, and, and a good example I can use is was um, when uh, I called you when I was at my old store. And I gave Shemekha the phone, and you were kind of explaining the theory of... Um, not theory. I mean, not theory. Um, um, how you were explaining... Um, how, uh, My perspective. Yeah, your perspective. Uh, your perspective of um, we being... We are the embodiment of the universe. Just experiencing it through the eyes of human itself it's itself just, right. yeah just a culmination of everything of happening everything happening in itself. because uh it, a lot of people don't know that we're made out of star stuff if you say that to them they're gonna be like what does that mean or they just won't listen i don't give a fuck yeah as soon as they it goes through that realm because yeah, it, 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 most of the time when it goes th- it's always where the hoes at where, where, bitches money bitches money where we gonna eat Oh, this person is cute. Am I going to be rich? Is this person talking shit about me? I want money. I want to spend money. Where we as human beings are focused on the wrong things. You know what I'm saying? It's like... And it's like, if uh, you learn more about the anatomy of the human right. body, what we're made out of, um, right. uh, understanding the universe, understanding the... the, um, the you appreciate everything. Exactly. You look at the you world through a different... everything. You look at the world through a different lens. Yeah. That, that's how I just, look at it. Like, people are like, why are you always excited about Monday? Like, you don't fucking understand. Like, this is the first time I'm experiencing this. Yeah. This is something I could share with someone or teach somebody. Yeah. So I'm going to listen and understand it with a, a, a close intent. And when they respond and you're like, holy shit, this person understands what I'm saying. It gets you even more I excited. I love that. that uh, it gets you I get this excited. big old wave, this rush in my head when it was like, you on that shit. You know that. Yeah, exactly. You know about that. Oh, that's exactly. Right. You know. So I think really I think good. I think we as humans need to stop focusing on trying to. But how, man? Well, I mean, it's it, again too. I, that's not something I can change. I could yeah. just I can just speak the message, right. and then of course you're gonna have. You don't want everyone to think the same. Of course, no. You don't want you don't want, you don't want um, to think you don't want robots thing. running amok. But you what I'm saying is. And even, like I say, even if we convey the message, not everybody's going to understand right. it or, or follow through with it. It's it's That's why there's conflict, because no one wants to learn. Yeah. Cause everyone... And it's just that fucking easy. Mm-hmm. Like, as simple as that sounds, it's one of the hardest things people can do. Learn and listen. Or listen and learn. learn. Sorry. Listen and learn. Not listen to respond. You know, listen and learn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not listen to memorize or regurgitate no listen and learn Learn. and like understand what the fuck expand expand your information and and try to understand like ask questions in a conversation yeah Yeah, you could be the one oh you must be stupid because you're asking all the questions Mm -hmm. no you're the smartest one in the room Mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying because no one's asking the questions right you know hey man like back in the day when i was in AP Bio, one of the classmates asked my professor if a woman drinks blue dye and she's pregnant, will the baby be blue? In my mind, my brain logged off. And I'm like, holy crap, how are we sitting in the same classroom? But even in that question, you can answer so many questions. That's true. By proving, like, by proving... That the baby the won't. statement wrong. Mm-hmm. 
and proving the statement wrong. Like, which is why, like, I never appreciated those questions on tests. Why is the statement false? Mm -hmm. Why is the statement true? And that's why I always say there's no such thing as a stupid you question. Yeah. You ask anyone that question. That's why people hated those long responses. Because mm -hmm. they didn't want to fucking, like, I don't care. Like, I don't, I don't want to give, like, I don't want to learn it to, to explain to you. Or I don't care to know it, to explain mm -hmm. it to you. But in any, in any s scenario, ask a person that test question. Why is that true? Mm -hmm. Why is what you're saying true? And then that's when it all, pfft. you see what I'm saying? Now, you know, where they got their information from, where they, mm -hmm. what they spend their time consuming. Consuming, yeah. Like, you just know, you know, like. There's a I lot you can tell from. Uh... I don't know. Maybe I'm just too observant. No. And, and... In my mind, I have so much time. Like, time moves so fucking slow in my mind. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like, it just moves so slow in my mind. There's like, so much to learn. Right. So you like, try to absorb as much as right, you can. Right. Um, I you know. would I would say this, um, and and I already told you this, and I and I always say for those who know who Doctor Who is before they, um, oh, Time Lords. Oh, yeah, the awesome. Time Lords. So, um, my younger sister got me into that. Was was like six six years ago, six seven years ago, and it was that had like, to be more than six seven years. Ago. Eight. Yeah, yeah, I understand. We're leaving the tens behind. Bro. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We're um, leaving the tens behind. So Julie got me onto it a while back, and and it's it just showed me a different perspective. And and I know most of the planets were made up, but it was just being able to travel to so many worlds, so many dimension. Uh, even the the library, the lost library that was in space instead of on Earth that they thought burned down, mm -hmm. but it was actually there. I mean, it's just being able to go to the end of time, the beginning of time, being able to meet different races of aliens, being able to do that. That would be amazing because the, your perspective on how you see life and the world and the yeah. universe yeah. or the multiverse would be so different. Like, say you took an entire six months because, you know, he can bring you back to the point that you left of just exploring everything. And then you come back and you're like, I can't forget what I just saw. You want me to go back to my boring life after you after showed, you me, showed this me this amazing, yeah. this amazing adventure? Yeah. Oh hell no! You're gonna yeah. let I'm gonna sleep on the TARDIS forever. I ain't going nowhere. You're gonna have to cut my hand off if you want. But that's or, the thing, like, and and even then, like at the end of every season, where he he, he changed, he guess. changes. Yeah, he retains his memories, but everything's a new experience for him for, because it's a different body. It's a, like he appreciates. It's like he understands that this is a vessel to experience yes. the universe. Exactly. So I'm going to do so accordingly. And he finds a companion, which, come on, what better way to explore the universe than with a friend? Yeah, of course. You see what I'm saying? Because that's another lens to experience the universe. And I think that's that's his downfall is because he has so much knowledge of the universe, but he's alone. So he prefers right. to do it with a he companion. He wants to see, like... Your experience. Right. It's Look. like raising a kid, right? Like, you could have done all this as a kid. Mm -hmm. But when you have your own kid, like... It's so different. It's different because you're seeing how they receive see the them. world. And I think that's why... And it's the same thing. Like, if I'm watching a movie, I've seen it millions of times, but then I want to see your reaction for the right. first time. I love that movie right. even more. And it's the same thing with, with why um, parents with kids love Christmas again. Right. Because they can experience the excitement through their children's through their kids, eyes. And it's like... And it's amazing. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, for me, I don't have kids, but it's like, Christmas is okay... I can go to a party, but it's okay. But when if when I have kids, it's gonna be different because I'm gonna be able to experience what now I've um what um what I've experienced. I'm gonna be able to see their vision um through my eyes of how they see Christmas and how excited they are, or anything that they do in life, mm -hmm. playing a game for the first time, reading a book for the first time, anything like that. That's an amazing experience, right. and that's why I said with the whole Doctor Who thing. After you experience that, you can't forget it. You and that's why it. I believe Man. we as people need to absorb more knowledge, not useless content that doesn't take us anywhere. We're wasting most of our lives absorbing content that won't go anywhere it's because it's for likes, it's views, yeah. validation. Yeah. And it's like, why do we need, why yeah. do 
why do we as human beings care so much about what That's the crazy. world thinks about us when we're never in our life That's crazy. going to meet those people, those 45,000 likes that you got, you'll probably meet one, but you're not going to know who he or she is mm -hmm. or they are. That's what I'm saying. So it's like so much things we can do with our time, better our time. And that that's why I said starting tomorrow, I'm going to I'm going to start trying to learn something that I can add to um um add to my vocabulary um starting tomorrow, add to my um mental You got want it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And if that, it's something you're going to start like there's no end goal. No, I know. It's knowledge is constantly uh right. is information that's just, never oh, ending. I'm gonna learn something new for a month. No. Or a year. It's like everything new I learn, I'm excited about. Word. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like bruh, the only example I could always use is uh like when I um like when I got a house, I didn't know anything mm -hmm. about how to maintain it, how to take care of it. Uh what it, what's in escrow what uh what what's ins what insurance do i need um how long this is going to take all that stuff like that now i talk to people like i'm a professional word well if, yeah if you want to if you want to do uh um you know, if you want to do a, a, a average payment blah 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 you can do this or you can jump on that i can give you this contact yeah. blah 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 and it's like when i know i'm good now we can just build fireplace if word. You want to. and you sat down you talked to me about that shit. Yeah, yeah i don't have a house now but like now i know this yeah. shit. now we know what we can do you, know you can saying? do a conventional loan or a, a FHA. it's not like oh oh it's not me buying a house why should i care yeah about X, Y, Z. And it's like... But when you get to that point, then you're going to be like, all right, I Now know. I save time. Yeah. <laughs> now I save time. And I think that's... And like you said, too, the, the perfect example that you use, you're like, uh, if we know the knowledge, we save a lot save of time, time. Because we don't have to sit down and learn. What so, you say is that, that time, bro. Yep. Time. It's everything. It is. It is. It's everything. But... Um, that's I, the only reason why you're driven... To do anything, time. A any and everything. You judge how much time you have to do something. It's you like, set goals, time limits. You set deadlines. Well, it's like uh, Justin Timberlake that, in saying. that movie. Yeah. But it's like, you know, like, take reclaim your time. Take your time back, yeah. man. Like, stop sitting down and watching bullshit. Bro. Not to say that you cannot. You can't. Not saying that you can't. But, but like prioritize it. Fifteen minutes, man. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's, that's fifteen bro. minutes you won't get back, bro. I would, me personally, I cut it down to like three minutes. I'm hardly on TikTok. I watch two, three videos, mm -hmm. and I'm off. Gotcha. I'm off, dude. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like you click something, algorithm got has you, mm -hmm. and now it's just the same shit. Again and again, just in different forms. Yeah, it's just the same shit. So that's why I stick to my tried and true arts. Arts and science. Mm -hmm. That's it. Arts and science. You know, comedy's funny, but that's subjective. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's just like... So that would, you, would that be your advice for our listeners and anybody else that were to happen to just jump up on our podcast you gotta realize what you're spending your time on yeah and then really think about how much time you really have yeah you see what i'm saying because before you know it you're old with restructure gray hair. your time bro you're old with gray hair and you're asking yourself yeah. what did i do with it what did i do with my time yeah restructure your time i promise you you're not missing nothing because mm -hmm. everyone's doing the same thing yep everyone at that club is thinking the same thing <laughs> <laughs> You ain't lying. Everyone at that bar is thinking the same fucking thing, bro. Yeah. Get the hell out of here. Like, bro, come on, man. Yeah, Come I on, agree. bro. If you're at a club at 3 a.m., you're thinking the same thing as everyone else. What the fuck am I doing here? Yeah, exactly. What the hell am I exactly. doing here? You same know? thing as everybody else. What the hell you am I drink, doing here? drink, find a female to sleep with, or, or just dance. And, and everybody else is doing the same thing. Or flex. Or flex. <laughs> what what you're driving, what you're wearing, what watch or you got flex. on. I mean, Or feel some type of exclusivity. That's yeah. wild to me. But, no, I agree. That's wild. I agree. So that would be the message of the day, you sir. try to gatekeep life. That yeah. shit, that, that's crazy. Life is free, nigga. What the hell? 
Would that be the only thing you got to work for is time. Life is free. Yeah, that's true. That's free. That's true. So you gonna gatekeep shit? Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. So would that be your message of the day, sir? Um. Yeah. Without uh, minus the curse words. Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, I reclaim it. Reclaim it. Like, do something good with it. Not, not something that won't benefit you in the long run. Again, too. There's no such thing as useless information. Even if you think nobody else will listen, if you were to have a general conversation with somebody that you can, um, that you find is on your level, I guarantee you, if they say, I don't know what it is, what happens is it gets you excited to explain to them what it is. And then that might spark something in them that might want ma- want to make them want to pursue that information. You right. never know, but you have to try. Get off from that computer. And have a conversation with people. Mm-hmm. We are human beings, not robots. That's how you learn. Yeah. How do you learn, bro? That's weird, bro. How do you learn about working out, getting in shape, go to the gym? You read up on it. Go to the gym, read up on it. You read up on it. You don't watch YouTube videos. <laughs> no, you read up on it you because you don't want to fuck up your muscle group. Well, you you don't want to fuck up your muscles. What the fuck? You don't want to uh, pull your back. I mean, you you have to make sure you're doing certain things right. That's crazy. Like you and I started working out along uh, uh, when I was in high school. What happened? We had to mm-hmm. read up on it, learn on it, make sure we do the right techniques, make sure we don't mess up. Yeah, we had some mishaps here and there, but we learned from them and we improved ourselves. And now we can work out without actually doing any of that. And then if we see somebody do something different, either you ask or you try that form and see how it works that muscle group and then you go from there. That's crazy. Hey, man. That's crazy. But message of the day. Try to reclaim your time. There's no such thing as useless messages. Um, no such thing as useless information or a stupid question. And it's just prioritize it. I guarantee you, you will use it in life. Yeah. So you you can help someone. Exactly. Yeah. You Like, will. oh, I learned this, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You will use it somewhere in life. It's like this. What I've learned, like I, I bought, um, I bought a plant book. So it's crazy, right? It was a botany or some shit like no, that? No, a plant book. It literally has different types of herbs and spices, med- medicinal plants, medical plants. So if, if, if shit were to go down... You have information. You have information on mm-hmm. what type of plant it is. You good, bro? He's potatoing. <laughs> you, you good, You see bro? what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 so it's like... It's like um, it's like that or daily quotes, like you, the 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 that's awesome. The meditation book of yeah, healing yeah, that has uh, that has a, a they're sp- insightful. I like yeah, it's not insightful. surface level bullshit. No, it's not. It's like it's, it's and it and it always pertains to you mm-hmm. in some type of way, and if it doesn't, it pertains to somebody that you know. Mm-hmm. So the the daily meditation of, of of quotes, I got that too. It's very insightful. It teaches you certain things, and you take something from it, and you can either spread that message mm-hmm. or teach or um, just uh, internalize it and try to understand yourself as a human being even even more but like i said there's always something to learn and i learned that from you today because like i said we had a deep conversation and you made me realize something yes i've been away from social media for five years but i'm consuming the garbage and it's not helping so i need it's like them old heads when they yeah. on when they're on like a, a TikTok or youtube it was like uh when we went to go see uh uh, Esther Mata. Yeah. Um, and we went to her house. Like, she didn't have regular, inter- like, antenna TV. Like, regular, yeah. o- over the air t- Over the uh, air TV. TV, yeah. Uh, so, she just had her YouTube app opening. And it's just, like, playing next, 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 mm-hmm. next. And, like, the shit they're saying, I'm just like, what the hell is going on? Yeah. Like, this sounds like the world's ending right now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? It sounds like someone's at your door and they're snatching people up and i'm just like that's crazy mm-hmm. i'm like that's crazy i'm like my thought you know no this is real right and that's why when mummy was trying to explain it to her she's like oh no this is what's happening and mummy's like that's happening. not what's happening that's not right what's now happening right yeah now. so she's she's just eating it right. she's just eating she's it just up just consuming it yeah you see what i'm saying but it's just like but i understand that like, yeah she's way older like, of course yeah her 
reality is set in stone. Like, Especially, it. yeah. Rest in peace to her. R.I.P. Um, but uh, yeah, it was just that that was the way she, that's the, that's her mm-hmm. way of thinking. It's not like um, the final moments that she has, it's not like she can, you can't change her mind. That's how she's thought no. her entire life. Her entire life. Yeah. You think you explain something to her and five minutes is going to change 90 plus years of her life? No. You tripping. No. You tripping. No. Look how long it took mom to get on board. You tripping. Our whole lives. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Our whole lives. Is it about that time? It's it's that time. So. Yeah. Guys, I hope uh, you got a lot of insight from what, what the conversation that we had today. But um, thank you guys for joining us at the Tabletop. If you want to catch us on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, and Amazon Music. And if you want to catch our ugly mugs on... <laughs> <laughs> I can never do that with a straight face. On Wednesdays and Fridays, we are on YouTube, One Word Tabletop Topics. We also have our TikTok channel and we have our Clips channel. So if you see anything that you like on there, go ahead and click on the links and then it'll uh, take you to the full video and then you can watch the podcast. And the best part about it now is we started adding timestamps, guys. So we made it easier for you to jump to specific segments of our conversation and uh, uh, see what you would like to talk about, especially on the clips that we're um, adding up daily. So, but uh, guys, thank you for joining us at the Tabletop. Thank you, thank you. You guys have a good night, weekend, evening, and or day. Bye, y'all.